wrong part of the board. Yeah, this is not okay. our doing. Uh, the campaign has has yet to turn the volume down on the music and the volume up on the podium microphone, so we're in this with you. They said, don't worry about it. In other words, politicians, they can do it. But I just want to thank everybody. This is a far bigger win than we even expected, all five. And that's something that's really, that's really something. And not only is it all five, it's all five, whether it's 60 or just about 60. And even I see one up there at 66 and 67. And you have to remember, and I say this all the time to the pundits, I love the pundits, but I say it all the time, there are three people. When you crack 60, and as we did last week with our great city and our great state of New York, when you crack 60 with three people, that's very hard to do. In fact, I think Chris can tell you, if you crack 60 with two people, that's called, that's called a massive landslide, but we have three. And, you know, uh, some strange things have happened. Last night, it was very strange when I watched this group get together. That was a strange moment. I got a call at 11 o'clock, and we talked, and I said, I think that's a good thing, because it shows weakness, it shows ineffectiveness, it shows failing campaign. It's collusion. In business, they put you in jail for collusion. In politics, you're allowed to get away with it. But it really is. It's a, uh, I thought it was a very weak signal. And the Republican Party needs something much different than that. Right. We'll be going to, thank you. We'll be going. We'll be going to Indiana. I'll be leaving tomorrow afternoon for uh, just a long stay. And it's a great state. I have many, many friends there. And I have a coach, Bobby Knight, the great Bobby Knight. And we're going to be spending a lot of time with Bobby. And Bobby's an amazing guy. He's tough, he's sharp, he's smart, and he wins. He knows how to win, and the people of Indiana love him, and Bobby's endorsed me, and we're going to spend tomorrow night and I think the next day with Bobby, so it's going to be a lot of excitement and fun, and that's called the gold standard. For Indiana, I would say Bobby Knight has to be the gold standard, and we have so many other people that have endorsed us there, so that'll be great. So we'll be spending, we'll start in the afternoon, and we're going to be spending numerous days in Indiana, and it's going to be something really, really special. So uh, I want to thank the media. The media has really covered me very fair for the last uh, two hours. <laughs> Uh, they've been they've been really very fair over the last few weeks, and uh, you know it's been amazing what's been happening. The crowds we've had are record-setting crowds, bigger than Bernie, but Bernie second, I have to say. And in fact, I suggested today you probably saw that the Democrats have treated Bernie very badly, and frankly, I think he should run as an independent. Okay, and I actually do. I actually do. I think they've treated him very badly, and you know the system is a bad system and whether it's their system or our system you look at what goes on but you know the best way to beat the system is have evenings like this where you get record-setting votes where you get record-setting delegates uh, i use the analogy of the boxer you know when the boxer knocks out the other boxer you don't have to wait around for a decision so that's what it is and that's what happened tonight that's what happened last week in new york and that's really what's been happening throughout. We have millions more votes, millions more than Cruz. We have millions more votes than Kasich. I mean, Kasich now, I guess he was 1 in 41. So now he's 1 in 46. Why is he here? I can tell you that if you look, Dr. Ben Carson did much better. He could have hung around and done very well. If you look, Chris Christie did much better. If you look, Marco Rubio did much better. In fact, Marco Rubio right now has more delegates than, uh, you know, Kasich. I mean, he's got more delegates, but so many others. I mean, they've actually done all they had to do was hang around, but they thought it was appropriate and a lot of people don't like seeing it it's like a spoiled person that just says i'm just staying for whatever reason so uh Kasich, and by the way as soon as Kasich gets hit with the first negative ad he's had none bing that's the end of that you know it's the only thing he can say and today we came up even against hillary but we will beat hillary so easily and you know remember this remember this i was not going to run according to everybody and i ran 
I was not going to sign for May, which basically you sign your life away, and I signed for May. And then everybody started saying, wow. And then we put in financials. The financials were phenomenal, far better, a little bit like this evening, far better than even people thought. Great financials. I built a great company with the help of my my sons and my daughters and, uh, I mean, with the help of my family, frankly. I mean, it's been great. But we built a great, great company, and that was good. And then everybody said again, well, he's just going to have a good time for a couple of weeks. He's enjoying it. And very shortly, we went to number one over a three- or four-week period. And we've been there ever since. We've been number one ever since. And again, millions of more votes, hundreds of more delegates. And I think this one is maybe the biggest of them all. I mean, New York last week at almost 62 percent was incredible, far better than what people thought. They said if you could break 50 again with three people, it's very hard to break 50. We hit almost 62 percent, picked up so many delegates. Last week we had Last week, we had 95 delegates in New York State, New York City, the whole thing added up to 95. We picked up almost every single one of them. It was an amazing victory. But this one's a diverse victory. I mean, you go Rhode Island, and you go Maryland, and you go Connecticut, and you go Pennsylvania, and you go, I mean, the whole thing, Delaware, and every of them was conclusive and every state is so different i mean it's so different i think one of the greats was when you look at almost 50 percent in massachusetts and almost 50 percent in the state of alabama now that's pretty different but we have all across the board and i think we're going to do really well in washington state i think we're going to do amazingly well in oregon and every place we're going to i mean we're going to be going fighting hard new mexico we're going to be fighting really hard and i think that Governor Kasich and Senator Cruz have really, really hurt themselves with a faulty deal that was defaulted on before they even started. Because Kasich said, well, what do you mean? Aren't they going to vote for me in Indiana? Well, I said, I thought they just made that deal. So what it is is politicians all talk, no action. They can't get it done. And they certainly can't straighten out our country because we're going to bring back jobs. We're going to take care of our military. We're going to be doing so many things. And to me, especially over the last two weeks, because I traveled New York State, and I went to Syracuse and Poughkeepsie and Rome, this Rome, our Rome, Rome, New York, as opposed to there's another Rome out there someplace. But we went to Rome, New York, and we went to the island, Bethpage, and, and just every place we went. Uh, manufacturing down 40 and 45 percent and even more and then we go to Pennsylvania and we see the same thing you look at what's happening with steel and you look at what's happening in so many other industries and I get statisticians to give me numbers and before I leave all the time give me the numbers and every single place I go is a disaster manufacturing down 40 45 55 60 percent sometimes in a relatively short period of time our jobs are being sucked away from our country and we're not going to let it happen anymore folks we're going to make it very very difficult to do that and when companies want to leave this country our great country and they want to lay off all of these people that in many cases helped build the country there will be consequences for that company to pay when they think they're going to make their product and send it in no taxes through a very weak border which by the way our border will be very very strong and we will build the wall just remember i said it okay but when when they think they're going to send their product right through this weak border and they're going to pay no tax and have absolutely no consequence for what they did it's not going to happen that way and you know what's going to happen when we do that all of a sudden companies are going to say i'm staying in syracuse and i'm staying in pennsylvania and i'm staying in maryland and i want to thank the people of maryland they've been so incredible we had some rallies all of them but we had some rallies in Maryland and Pennsylvania that were absolutely unbelievable. Yesterday in Pennsylvania, we were in an arena that was like Madison Square Garden. They turned away thousands and thousands of people. Unfortunately, the press never reports that. They always show my face. They go like this. I said, does anybody ever want to show this arena that's got tens of thousands of people in it? But they don't do that. But that's okay, because I'll at least explain it to you. But we're going to have our country back. We're going to make America great again. And I just want to tell you, for the five states, I am so honored. This was, to me, our biggest night, because it shows such diversity.